What's up YouTube, welcome back, my name's Tony. Today we're gonna go over some of the most basic hotkeys in Reaper. So if you're not familiar with the term, a hotkey is a keyboard shortcut for performing actions within your DAW. Getting familiar with your hotkeys can save you a lot of time, because instead of navigating through windows or right clicking and selecting something from a drop down menu or just moving your mouse around and clicking on things, you can take care of things with just one or two hits of a button. So today we're going to go over the main hotkeys that I use every single time I open Reaper. Now, I'm working on a PC here, so I'm using terms such as Control or Alt for keys on my keyboard. If you're working on a Mac, you can replace Control with Command and Alt with Function. Now, before we dive right into this, guys, please subscribe to the channel so that you can see more great videos like this one when they come out. It helps the channel out a lot, and it helps me to be able to make more content for you guys. So the first hotkey I'm going to show you guys is so basic that I almost didn't include it in this video until I thought, hey, we're all brand new at this at some point. So the first hotkey we're going to dive into is your spacebar. Spacebar starts or stops playback within your DAW. You can also use the enter key to start your playback, but when you hit the enter key a second time, it leaves the play cursor right where it was when you hit that key. So it's more of a pause button than a stop button. Another handy hotkey relating to playback is if you want to bring your play cursor back to the very beginning of your project, just hit W. Next are the three basic hotkeys that'll save your ass more than any other ones on this list. Control S saves your project. Control Z is your undo button. So if for example you move a track somewhere it wasn't supposed to be, simply Control Z and it's back to where it was. And that works for everything. If you move a fader by accident, if you move a pan plot by accident, if you put a plug in on that you didn't mean to put onto your track, just use Control Z and you're back to where you were before. Now say you're too quick on the undo button and you undo something that you didn't want to undo, Control Shift Z is your redo button. I find that really handy for things like auditioning a track at two different volumes. You can have your bass, for example, down at this volume and bring it up a few decibels to there. And while your track is playing, you can hit Control Z to bring it down to volume number one, Control Shift Z to bring it back up to volume number two. All right, so next are some basic workflow hotkeys. Control T will add a track in your project right below whichever track you've got selected. Or if you have no track selected, it'll add it right at the top of your project as track number one. Control R will start your recording playback, but only if you've already got a track armed to record. Control R. Alt-D is another handy one. That toggles the visibility of your docker, which is where your mix window usually lives. So you hit Alt-D, you can see the mixer. Alt-D again, it goes away. Super handy for bouncing back and forth between mixing and editing. Next up, we've got some editing hotkeys. The first and most basic one is if you want to split your waveform so that you can either move a part of it somewhere else or go through some different comps. Click on the track to move the play cursor where you want it to be and press S. S will split it into two, and then you can do whatever you need to do with both those parts of the track. But if you want to take a section of something out of a waveform, you can click and drag on any part of the track window that doesn't have a waveform on it, or up top on your timeline here, to create a time selection. Once you've created a time selection, you can highlight one of your tracks and press Shift S to split that track on each end of the time selection. And then once you're done with that, you can hit Escape to get rid of the time selection. Another handy editing hotkey is Alt-S. Alt-S toggles on and off your snap to grid function. So with the snap to grid function enabled, when you move a waveform, it snaps automatically to the grid in the background of your TCP. However, with that function off, you can simply move it around freely wherever you would like to line it up. Reaper has a really convenient grouping function for when you're working with a source that has multiple microphones on it, such as a live mic drum kit, or a guitar cab where you've got two mics on the amp or even a big group of backup vocals. So to start, you highlight all the tracks that you want to include in the group. Now I've got my drums all in blue here, so I'm gonna highlight all those. Then you just hit G to group them together. You'll know that they're grouped because you can see this little green chain link kind of symbol there. Also, any waveform in the group will have a thin green line around the outside of it. Once tracks are grouped, then anything that you do to one of the waveforms will happen to all the waveforms. So if I split this one here, it splits all the waveforms in the group. Also, if I were to grab one and move it around, the rest of them come with it. 
Then if you want to get rid of the grouping on these tracks or just remove one or two tracks from it, you can highlight the tracks you want to remove and press U to ungroup them. The last couple hotkeys I'll leave you with are really handy in the mixing stage of things. When I'm mixing, I do a whole lot of automation. So Reaper has a couple of built-in hotkeys to get you right to the most frequently used automation envelopes. All you need to do is select a track and press V for the volume automation envelope or P for the panning automation envelope. Once those are up, then you can hold down shift and click anywhere on the envelope to add a point. Or you can hold control and click to manually draw in automation curves. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed this quick crash course on Reaper hotkeys. If you like this video and would like to see more content like this one, leave me some comments down below and don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and that notification bell so that you can get notified anytime I put up more videos like this one. Thanks again for tuning in guys. We'll see you next time.